The Inspiration Lab at the Vancouver Public Library Central Branch is a space dedicated to digital creativity, collaboration, and storytelling. Access is free with your library card. To function, the audio cassette player must be powered on. Press the eject button to open the tape compartment. When inserting the cassette, be sure the open edge or bottom part where the tape is exposed is facing down. To play the side of the tape facing you, press the play button pointing right. To play the side of the tape facing away from you, press the play button pointing left. All your cassette audio will play through the computer and its headphones. Now we just need to set up the computer to record that playback. If you're using one, plug in your USB storage device now. We have two choices for audio recording software to digitize your cassette, Reaper and Audacity. Audacity is a free audio recording program that you can install on your own Windows or Mac computer at home. Compared to Reaper, Audacity is difficult to edit audio with, but can be simpler to record with. Reaper is paid software that's available for free at the library's digital creation spaces with your VPL card. Compared to Audacity, Reaper is easier to use for cutting up and rearranging your audio, and has better tools for noise reduction and other special effects. If you think you'll be editing your cassette audio later, choose Reaper. Otherwise, choose Audacity. First, Audacity, which you can open from the desktop by double-clicking its icon. After closing the welcome screen, you can start recording the cassette's playback by clicking the red record button. Once you're done recording, click the stop button. Then, to save your tape recording, click File in the top left corner, Export, and Export as WAV. You can choose where to save your recording and change the file name like any other file before you click Save. The Edit Metadata window will open. You can ignore this window and click the OK button at the bottom. That's it! For Reaper, double-click its desktop icon. To record your cassette, you'll need to create an audio track for the recording. Double-click the dark gray area here, or press Ctrl and T on the keyboard. Enter a name for your recording now by double-clicking the nameplate for your new track, typing in a name, and hitting Enter. Now, you need to tell Reaper you want to record into this track by arming it for recording with the arm button on the track. The volume meter on the track will turn on, showing how loud the playback of the cassette is. To start recording, hit the red record button shown here. When you're done recording, hit the stop button. The Save, Rename, Delete window will pop up. You can then save your recording by clicking the Save All button. Reaper recordings are saved in the Documents folder under Reaper Media, where you can then copy them to your USB or upload them online. You can repeat these steps for as many cassettes as you need. When you're done digitizing, be sure to eject your storage device if you used one, and bring your files with you. Thanks for watching! To learn more about editing your audio in Reaper or Audacity, head to vpl.ca slash inspirationlab, where we have guides, workshops, and info on other digital creation tools available at the library.